happening right now. Fed up neighbors in Rancho Bernardo are firing off to police about the crime plaguing their normally quiet community. Our 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is live and Steve, these are violent crimes with people still feeling violated. People talking about crime, how not to become victims, talking to San Diego police here as well, trying to find a way to up neighborhood security. Stacy Tice is well aware of the burglary across the street. Three kids at home, they make sure everything's locked up. Everybody safe and secure. They still feel safe. We just um, make sure all the windows and doors are locked before we go to bed or go anywhere. We don't, you know, we used to leave windows open sometimes downstairs and we don't do that now. She wasn't aware of the number of icons on a crime map of her neighborhood for the past month. I can't believe it. You know, I'm so, so, so surprised because we always feel like it's such a safe area. But anyone can be targeted. Val Paraiso lives a few blocks away. He and two neighbors were recent victims of smash and grab burglaries. Come to live here in Rancho Bernardo, you think it's a safe, quiet area, and it is, I mean, for the most part, but you, I guess you never think that it's gonna happen to you. How many of you have neighbors whose vehicles have been broken into? <laughs> okay. A neighborhood safety meeting is called to talk about concerns, solutions. Police patrols are important. So are watchful eyes from behind those curtains. On this street, a lot of people know each other. You know, we have all of our kids going to the same schools, and so people kind of know who's supposed to be where, and I, that helps a lot. So the neighborhood watch thing will be great. Our night side crew is here as well. Bree Stefan will have some new insight onto what these folks have learned here tonight. That's coming up at 11. Live in Rancho Bernardo, Steve Fiorina, 10 News. Steve, thank you.